Thank you for the opportunity to present our work. Nine children per day die of firearm injury. As a level one trauma center, we have to address the opportunity causes. In our community, we have seen a spike in firearm injuries. In order to make our outreach events more effective, we want to understand our target audience, families of firearms in the home. We conducted an anonymous cross-sectional survey at a pediatric-specific injury prevention event in conjunction with the large regional fair over a two-week period. We elicited responses regarding basic demographics, reasons for firearm ownership, storage practices and preferences, utilizing a red cap survey and a QR code accessed by the participant's own smartphone or electronic device present in our booth. Our goal is to understand what storage practices could be implemented. After all, a gun lock given and thrown away is of no use to injury prevention. Participants were able to view a short instructional video as well as a short brochure by the American College of Surgeons on gun safety and your health. At the end of the survey, is selected for either a cable or a trigger lock and they were given this before leaving our booth. We had 394 participants complete our survey. 99% were English speaking, 55% were female, 85% identified of 26 to 64 year age group, and 65% identified as white. We had 238 instances of handgun ownership in a household, 28 of sporting or hunting rifles or shotguns, and 150 as some combination of both. Most participants identified personal protection as the reason for having a firearm in their household. Those who had handguns stated of standing safe as their primary preference, with trigger locks or placing out of sight or hiding as secondary preferences for storage. Those with sporting or hunting rifles or shotgun ownership solely stated of freestanding safe or cable lock as their primary preference, with 25% reporting placing out of sight or hiding as their preference for storing their firearm. Barriers to use of a gun safe uh, included cost, the time to disarm being the main barrier for a cable or trigger lock use. Importantly, about a quarter to over a third of participants already use one of these three means for storing their firearm. 67% of total participants identified having a child in the home always or often. 46% of those with firearms in the home with children reported having a firearm stored without a lock, concealed or out of sight. 88% of these participants left with a lock. In conclusion, most firearm owners reported having a firearm for personal protection. 65% of firearm owners have children, and most firearm owners chose a trickle lock at a higher rate. This is helpful in planning future events in which large numbers of low-cost safety devices will be distributed. Future pediatric injury prevention efforts focused on firearm safety will take these data into account and use them to continue much needed research in this area and inform interventions to keep our children safe.